It's Wednesday, yes, right? Maybe this year has flown by, hasn't it? I mean, 2024, not 2023. Speaking of, this time last year, our mayor used the state of the city to express his commitment to four pillars of the working people's agenda, jobs being the first. So I imagine Mayor Adams will champion the comeback on job numbers this year in this speech. I'm curious if he wades into wage gaps and the city's readiness on growing labor markets and industry sectors this time around. Or, or how it is that workforce development intersects with economic development. I mean, we know where we're building, right? We know which neighborhoods are, are being impacted. Are the on-ramps the opportunity in place in those neighborhoods beyond the public schools in CUNY? I mean, we love public schools in CUNY. We just want to make sure that the needs of all New Yorkers seeing a career change, salary growth, a second act, are in place. Maybe this is the year we hear a pivot to place-based investments, neighborhood, and community-based job training. Our members have expertise on the build-out of those employer training provider networks. You know that, right? Are we at the table? We are queued up for a presentation from the Office of Community Hiring tomorrow, in fact. We talked about that at the conference, so you know, we're leaning in in every way. You know, it's a big day in the Big Apple with the mayor's aspirational communication in one bureau, borough happening at the same time as the Department of City Planning's hearing on the city of yes for economic opportunity downtown. Now that's a proposed remaking of zoning that is complicated and controversial, that has the opportunity to reset the city. Necessary, sure, but how will it work exactly? Who benefits and for how long? Listen, it's 2024, and that means next year's 2025, and that's the next citywide election cycle. So there's a lot to do, and a lot to leverage, and a lot to influence. This is my stop. Talk soon.